G'day guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now I thought I would just drop in and just have a little bit of a chat about round one and my feelings around all this stuff that's happening in the footy world. It's obviously going to incorporate a bit of the corona world and the corona chatter, but I don't want to spend too much time talking about corona specifically. Certainly not a health expert, certainly not a footy expert, but I just want to give my thoughts on my feelings and opinions about this weird sort of no man's land that we're all in at the moment. Now, initially when I first heard about corona, it was water off a duck's back. I heard there was a little bit of a disease in China, a little bit of hysteria, but I went to Roggie's stand-up gig that night. I felt a little bit anxious about heading out because, you know, you hear about, you know, if people travel, they can spread it, blah, 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 blah. But I went and watched Rog do some five minutes of his best stand-up, which is, you know, you can watch down below or head over to the Once Upon a Time channel and check out. And um, yeah, then after that, I didn't think about it for a couple of months. And then every now and again, I'd go on Twitter in the morning and it was it was trending. It sort of annoyed me that it was trending. I'm like, oh, this is trending every day. It's give it a rest, Corona. You've had enough marketing, brother. It grew and grew and grew to a point where people stockpiling toilet paper. And this was a couple of weeks ago. Like now it's really desperate times, but a couple of weeks ago, the stores were starting to not have toilet paper. And that's around the time we filmed the preseason predictions. And when we filmed the preseason predictions, we were all cracking gags. Like we were all sort of having a bit of a laugh because I, despite it being a terrible virus that has killed people, which is sad, it just felt like something that was going to pass. Like, I don't know, it didn't really register, which is probably our fault, probably should have, but it just didn't. And I think that's the vibe that everyone sort of had. And then, you know, this is going back to my mindset as well. I heard that there could be a lockout for round one. And I was like, I don't mind. I just want to see footy. And then a part of me, which I'm a bit feeling a bit guilty about, was sort of like, oh, that's elite for the Ds. We're going to West Coast and there's not going to be any away fans. You ripper. And then they did lock it out. Like, round one is a lockout. And as days go on, I'm starting to think if, if people aren't allowed to go... Should we play it? And I don't think we should. You know, do I think round one should go ahead? Probably not. Do I think it will go ahead? Probably not. Like, oh, I wouldn't be surprised. Things are changing so quickly. If you go on Twitter, every half an hour, something different happens. So I wouldn't be surprised if by the time this video comes out, or in the next couple of days, round one doesn't go ahead. I just feel like the pressure's mounting for it to just get postponed. You know, my mindset was, that can't happen. Like, I do not. I, I just want footy. I want footy. I don't know. I feel <laughs> weirdly, like, in a box... It's sad. I just want something to distract me that I can watch and be entertained by. And, you know, we've waited this long, but we haven't had footy for ages. I just, I want footy on my screens, in my face. But now I'm just like, it'll just get lost. Like, I'm starting to see people saying like, oh, who's going to win on the weekend and stuff. And a part of me doesn't care. Normally, going into round one, I'm like, oh man, can the Blues pull it out of the bag on Thursday night footy? And then what, Friday? And then, and then I look at every game on the weekend and you know, all the storylines that could happen and we're creating like, who could, what could the eight look like after round one? And you know, if the D's pinch one against West Coast, we've got GWS, two hard games in a row. And I'm starting to create the narratives of the season and the excitement builds and none of that is happening at the moment. Like I, <clears throat> I don't care about the teams. I don't care who's debuting, I, don't, I just don't really care, which is a weird feeling. Because I just feel like, as a society, we have bigger fish to fry. I saw something that um, Josh Jenkins put up on Twitter, which I think was a, a really good post in perspective. Josh Jenkins wrote, Our grandparents were asked to pick up a gun and head to war. We've been asked to stay at home and wash our hands. So, so true, like... You know, there has been interrupted seasons of footy before. There's been interrupted times in society where things did get shut down, especially in Australia, because we don't think it's that bad in our country. You know, we are being a little bit naive, but I feel like, you know, say we let round one happen, we all went and, and all these events were still on. I feel like I feel like looking at the rate of the virus, it could get worse. So in my head, do we wait a month <laughs> and then tr really try and lock this thing down, get everyone all on the same page and come back in four weeks time with it all under control and we can have, you know, a pretty uninterrupted season from then. Because right now, I don't know, it just doesn't feel right. It, as much as I want footy to be back, it just doesn't feel right. It feels a bit wrong. Um, I thought I'd whack in a bit of a chatter about my channel as well, given we're talking about, you know, the disruptions. Yeah, I'll still be smacking footy content out, to be honest. It's, it's footy season. So whether there's a game on on the weekend, whether there's not, um, I just want to entertain. And 
that's what I will continue to do during uh, during this time. But yeah, just like everyone, I guess I, I hope it, it does pass and and calm down and um, cool cool minds prevail, especially around the supermarkets. I feel like everyone needs a bit of a I don't know, a bit of a chop out. Anyway, that's my two cents on round one. Um, I appreciate anyone who watched the video. I appreciate all the support. More content coming from me as always, guys. I'll be smashing it out throughout the season. So anyway, I appreciate the support and I'll see you guys very, very soon.